Hi everybody, Lori here. Today I've got a couple of projects to share with you using some stamps from right at home. The owner, Nicole, was so sweet to send me some to play with from their new holiday release. And I've got a couple of cards to share with you. This first one features the Christmas Critters stamp set as well as the, well actually all three. There's three stamp sets in the holiday release. The Poinsettia, Christmas Critters, and Christmas Sentiment. So I'm starting with the Christmas Critters. It's got the snowman with all the accessories that you put on it. So there's no coordinating dies, so in order to get this all to work, to look like you've got the scarf and the hat on the snowman, you got to do a little masking. And this is where my little Misty tool, yes, if you haven't heard, I finally broke down and I bought a Misty, and I'm kicking myself for all the time that I've wasted being so cheap not to buy one. Okay, so let me get to the card. Here's some Eclipse masking paper, and I'm going to go ahead, after I stamp the hat and scarf, I stamped it on that Eclipse masking paper. You trim it out, and then you mask it off. I've already done this a couple times, like I said before. This is probably my third kick at the cat with this card. Some of you hadn't heard, by the way, those magnets, they stick to your tweezers, so be aware of that. And, um, okay, so I've done a few of these cards, so you can see my masks have already been well-loved by now, but I've already got them trimmed out. That's the nice thing. Once you get them trimmed out, you can get a few uses out of them. So you got your hat masked off, your scarf masked off, now you can stamp your snowman. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I'm going to do a little Copic coloring when this is all done, and we'll go ahead and mask off our snowman. And then once we get that done, we're going to mask off a little snowy hill down below the snowman. So it looks like he's kind of standing in the snow and just floating in thin air. And the way I did that was I took some post-it tape and I just freehand trimmed a little hill with my scissors. Nothing fancy. Again, you can see I've already done this a couple of times because I make boo-boos. I make blunders just like everyone else. And the key is just to stick at it because eventually you will get a card that works. So I'm taking a little Malibu ink. This is by Simon Says Stamp. I love this color. Probably one of my most used. That Malibu and Sea Glass. I use more than any other colors because they're great for backgrounds with skies, snowy backgrounds, even summer skies, all that jazz. I use them a lot for ink blending. And uh, so I'm just going to town here doing a little all around the sides. You really need that along the bottom to really emphasize your snowy hill. So now here we're, we're doing our little bokeh, our snowy bokeh. And I am using these solid circle images. I believe this is from the poinsettia stamp set. So you can see here, I'm using a little generation stamping. And what you do is you stamp it. This one here, I had to stamp three times in a row to cover up my mistake there. But then what you're gonna do is stamp off and then you'll get a real light one. And that's how you get your bokeh effect. Now I've got a little duckling. This is duckling ink and I'm stamping it. Okay, so I guess this is called what you call generation stamping, where you stamp it full strength and then you stamp it off. So now you're getting the second generation of the ink, see? And that's what gives you that gorgeous bokeh look. So now we're using Twirling Tutu ink and I stamp it once and then I stamp it twice and now we're just getting, we're gorgeous. I was inspired by Betsy Veldman. She made a card, here it is, I'll show it to you. Look at that bokeh, it's so gorgeous and that's where I got my color choices and the idea. Betsy Veldman is just flat out a rock star and I just love her work, I always have. Many times I, when I am in a slump, I will go to Pinterest, this is a true story. I'll go to Pinterest and I'll type in the search bar Betsy Veldman and I just wanna look at what she does and she inspires me, she really does. Okay, so now I forgot I should have did this before the ink blending but I wanted to stamp the snowman's hands and I wanted to stamp a little birdie perched on his little branchy arms so I'm going to go ahead and do that now I noticed my ink blending is very very light right there in the center where I would be stamping the bird so it's really not going to matter when I go to Copic color that little birdie I don't even know why I'm masking him off at this point this should have been done way beforehand but you know how things go. Sometimes cards are an evolution. So I'll show you what should have been done. I would stamp the bird and then mask him off, then stamp the branch and then stamp the other branch arm on the other side. So now we're all finished removing the mask. I need to stamp the face on the snowman. I forgot to do that as well. I forget everything. It's called momnesia. Do you know what momnesia is? It's a mom's version of amnesia. I've literally, I feel like I'm losing my mind. I walk into a room. I can't remember why I came in the room. If I do not have a list when I go to the grocery store, I'm lost. I'm literally walking in circles 
And uh, yeah, that's just where my brain's mush. It's mush. I see people all the time and I know I know them, but I don't know where I know them from. Was it from grade school? Was it high school? Was it college? Is it through stamping? Is it church? I don't even know anymore. I just, it looks like a familiar face. I call my kids all the wrong names. And when I'm folding, here's my latest one. I fold the laundry and I put everyone's wrong clothes in their pile. They end up in there. They can't find their t-shirt. Well, go, you got to go look at your brother's closet. It could be in there. And here's the big problem. Everybody in the family wears, uh, is it Adidas or Nike black sporty socks? They've all got the same kind. And I go to fold and I'm in tears. I can't tell anybody's from anybody's now. They're all wearing Adidas pants and Adidas socks. It's killing me. All this athletic wear. I used to try to write with, take a black Sharpie and write the initial, but now everything's black. The socks are black. And even now my underwear, me and my daughters, we all have <laughs> same similar size underwear and brand. And we can't, so I'm like putting mom on the back of my underwear because I don't want anybody to wear my underwear. Oh, that was probably TMI too much information right there whatever the case is I'm losing my mind but I do know how to cope with color and I do know how to do it very simply and redneck this is my redneck cope with coloring very simple you can see my marker caps there and put a little rosy cheeks on the snowman and just a little bit on the bird just because you know rosy cheeks I know birds don't have rosy cheeks but whatever okay so now we're stamping a sentiment this is from Christmas sentiments this is a really great set it's got some fun kind of handwritten scripty big words and then some classic coordinating fonts I really like the combination of the fonts so I put three strips of foam tape on there popping it up on a Nina Solar White card base bada boom bada bing we're done I got one more card to share with you and this is really simple one layer using the same similar colors and that generation inking and this is going to go real quick so I start with twirling tutu I stamp this is supposed to be that Christmas tree it's in the Christmas critter stamp set so I stamp it in twirling tutu full strength then I do the generation I stamp it off one and then you get the light doing duckling full strength then we're going stamping it off second generation we're doing a light one on and on and so forth so I've got Twirling Tutu, Duckling, this is Malibu. That is the second generation. You can see it's nice and light. I did a little fog. I did one in fog just to, you know, kick it up a notch. And then we got a full strength Malibu and on and on and so forth. You get the idea, but isn't that beautiful? That kind of bokeh tree look. It's really kind of um, very subtle and it's not bright in your face rainbow like how I normally do. But I do love a subtle card now and then. Every once in a while I like to just slow things down and just be nice and subtle. And I'm putting a little sparkling clear sequins, pretty pink posh, my favorite embellishment of all time. And then to just, I felt like it just needed a little something, something. So on the bottom, I put a very thin strip of striped pattern paper. This is from a Dear Lizzie six by six paper pad. I believe it's Polka Dot Party. It's an older one, but I just love that black and white stripe that just that little bit of accent on the bottom just ties it all in. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.